All right, what's going on everybody? Today is a pretty big day because we're gonna try and get the super registered today. But you gotta move the accord first and I'll explain more of it here in a second. try and go to the police station so I can get this car inspected hopefully it passes it should pass um, and then we can get the car re-registered I just really hope it passes that's pretty much like my main my main thing right now I really hope it passes I've never done this before so I have no idea like what Like, I have no idea, like, what the inspection, uh, what's the word? I can't think of the word. I just woke up, so my brain's kind of slow. But I don't know what's part of the inspection. I don't know what they look for. I don't know what they check. Because what's weird, like, what makes the whole thing weird in the first place is here in Louisiana, we still have brake tags, which, if you don't know what brake tags is, it's like, you have to get an inspection but like not by a police officer just like a regular you know like like inspection shop i guess and you have to pass it in order to get like a little sticker that they put on our windshields to show that our cars are compliant so it makes this inspection in my opinion kind of pointless because it's so like i need two inspections like i, I don't know or like, or like if I pass, like does he give me a brake tag kind of deal? Probably not, but I don't know. I just find it kind of weird. I don't, I don't really understand why this is a thing here. Especially considering how lenient they are when it comes to certain things on, on vehicles. Like they're, they're pretty lenient here, you know, like modifying cars and stuff like that. You know, it's not really a big problem here. A lot of people do it like, you know, like without repercussion, but... I don't know. This inspection thing is a bit, uh, I guess, like unknown. It's a bit of an unknown. So hopefully, hopefully it works out. Well, we'll see. Later. So. Uh... I'm gonna go on a quick rant here. As you can see from the title, they, uh, they didn't do the inspection. And so at this point, I'm getting pretty freaking like fed up. Cause just, just so y'all guys are in the loop, right? So when this car got back, Admittedly, I didn't jump on it too fast. You know, we went to go pick it up, brought it back. It was it was safe at home, cool. When I finally did start getting on the ball, trying to re-register the car, I went to a chain of our DMV, because our DMV has like a little chain, like smaller D DMVs basically. You know, they, they can do some things that the DMV can do just to make things quicker so the DMV isn't always so packed, but there are certain things that the DMV itself still has to do. Um, but anyway, so I went there first, you know, just to, you know, just to see if I was lucky, which usually I'm not, and I wasn't. They told me I gotta go to the DMV. So I go to the DMV. The DMV says I have everything, but I need a special inspection from a police officer. That's all they told me. So, then I start 
looking, calling local police departments, as you know, even friends that I have here who are police officers, you know, I call them, ask them if they know anything about it, if they can do it, they all tell me no. They don't know anything about, you know, this said vehicle inspection that I need to convert my car from, you know, Guam to Louisiana. And so I'm like, okay. Finally, I get somewhat somewhat of a breakthrough. I call this one police department and they say, oh yeah, you know, most police departments don't do it no more, but there's one police department that still does it. And I guess, you know, they're in charge of it, obviously, because they're, the they're the only one that still does it. But essentially, okay, I don't know why she went super slow there, but anyway, but essentially, yeah, they're the only one that still do it. So I call them up and they say they do it and that, you know, you know obviously they mention everything that I need to, to do it when I go over there. But the first clip of this video that y'all just saw was me leaving to that police station and they said that they couldn't do it for this car because apparently Guam is a country, which for those of you who don't know, which I mean, there's a lot of people that don't know, which is a little sad to be honest. But you know, for those of you who don't know, Guam is not a country. It is a US territory. There's a difference. There is a difference. But because so many people don't know Guam or where it's at or anything about it, they just think it's another country. But obviously, you know, I can't argue with them because then that starts a problem and considering that they're police officers and I'm not, well, well, I mean, I'm military, but they don't, they don't know that. And they won't ask questions until after the altercation's already done. But anyway, so I don't say anything. But now they're saying that I have to go to state police. I have to make an appointment with them just for them to hopefully inspect the car and change everything over to Louisiana. And I swear, if they don't do it or if they say something to where like, oh, we can't do it, I'm gonna be so freaking fed up to where I just might take this car somewhere and like, like literally like take it out of state. Like I might just take it out of state and register it somewhere else. Cause this is ridiculous. Literally, all I'm trying to do is be law compliant and they're making it like almost impossible. It's literally just a piece of paper that they have to sign saying that, yeah, this car is okay to be. It's like over 30 years old. It's like most of the stuff that they would check, they can't even check because the car doesn't have it. It's it's too old. So I was like, I don't know. I mean, like, like I said, I'm, I'm literally just ranting. I mean, this has been going on for like almost two months now that I've been going back and forth between everyone. And them telling me that they can't inspect the car. So, yeah, I don't know. It's frustrating. But, um, but yeah, so I guess, I guess now I'm gonna go back home. And I'm gonna, I don't know. I guess I'm gonna try and make this, well, I'm probably gonna call them first. I'm gonna call them first. And I'm, I'm gonna just ask them straight up, like, about everything. And hopefully they say yeah. But then after that, I gotta make an appointment and... Well, well, it's kind of tricky because I got drills soon, but yeah, I got to make the appointment and then hopefully, hopefully they switch it, man. I'm just trying to drive this car. Like obviously it not being compliant, it makes it a little, you know, uh, unmotivating to drive because it, it only takes one cop, you know, it only takes one cop uh, and he could have a field day with me just because nothing, nothing's here, you know so it makes it kind of unmotivating not only that but you know i need to, i really need to start fixing it too uh because just driving it to the police station just now it's like you know there's a bunch of water trapped inside which obviously is not good considering this car is already rusting um it actually drove pretty good i mean that wasn't so much the issue but yeah there's a bunch of water trapped inside i still got to fix the exhaust leak which i'm gonna need a whole new exhaust anyway um you know, they, I mean, y'all have seen the board roughly, and you know, I've, I've mentioned it time and time again. Like this, this car needs a lot of work as well. 
Uh, this this one's pretty much more of a full restoration than, than what the Accord is. This one's actually going to need fab work for sure. So, but anyway, uh, I guess rant over, video over. Um, it sucks, but I'm trying. Try, trying to get everything together. I mean, I don't have a team or anything like that. You know, it's all pretty, for the most part, by myself. Um, so, yeah. And, you know, it's not like I have anyone to guide me either. So, just figuring out as we go. But, um, but yeah, like I said, rant over. So, if <laughs> I don't know. For some reason, y'all enjoyed my rant. Uh, leave a like, I guess. And subscribe because uh, this ain't over. We're gonna we're gonna get her squared away somehow. I don't know how, but we're gonna figure it out because I'd be damned if I went through all this trouble to get this car here and freaking you know some little police officers tell me that you know I can't register it here because that, that's just dumb. But anyway, I'll probably I'll, I'll give y'all one last startup before I go.